again my friends uh, and welcome to Camps Lodge today we start the first major work on the on the house which will be taking off the roof tiles and uh, repairing the, the roof changing beams that needs to be changed well uh, it's going to be a hard work and uh, it will last for a while uh, the weather cast uh, shows some uh, some rain uh, in a few days time I'm a bit concerned about that but uh, it needs to be done it's the first thing to be to be done and uh, and uh, we have to do it uh, there's no detour for that a couple of uh, people from uh, down from the village will come to help me and uh, for the repairing itself uh, a friend of mine who lives uh, not so far away about uh, 10 kilometers away is uh, specialized in uh, building uh, cabins and uh, roofs so uh, I hope that everything will be alright and um, we'll finish it in, uh, in time without uh, any rain getting in the house. So uh, wish me luck and uh, enjoy this video. The evening before the actual work uh, began, I took off some of the, of the tiles to make access to the roof and um, get down some of the bigger things from the attic that were uh, standing in the way. The next day the two neighbors came and it took us about 8 hours to remove all the roof tiles.
The rafters looked uh, in good condition considering the rage. We only had to change two of them. On the third day the first train came. It caught us with the roof only half covered. I got soaked that evening placing all the tarps that I had. The tarps were not enough but uh, luckily the rain didn't last long. About three minutes and then uh, some drizzling during the night. Here and there the wood got a bit wet. We even had uh, a few drops of rain inside the house but the most important parts of the building were protected.
the kids played uh, nicely at a safe distance all the time. They uh, understood not to stay near the house because it's dangerous. And they were very helpful by giving us no trouble. Storm clouds were gathering in the distance, but uh, this time we already managed to cover almost totally the roof with the roof boarding and foil. And the evening came and the rain started to pour down. After an extremely hot day, exhausted and dirty, I couldn't resist taking a refreshing shower. I can assure you, it felt really great. And my mind was at peace this time regarding the house and the rain. After washing by hand uh, about a third of the roof tiles, somebody came with the idea to install a pump in the well and uh, connect it to a pressure pump. This brilliant suggestion uh, helped to facilitate the washing process and uh, to be finished in time for uh, putting them back on the roof. There were more than 2000 roof tiles to be cleaned and my wife completed almost all this hard labor by herself. We decided to reuse the roof tiles after cleaning them and they came out looking great. We were considering wood shingles at first, but they are too expensive. Still I uh, think about that as a future project. I'm glad we could uh, restore and uh, give them new life for who knows how many years to come. I always uh, avoid scrapping things that uh, can be reused. What you saw me throwing away in the last video were uh, bad roof tiles, broken and uh, unusable. I salvage everything like uh, Robinson Crusoe from the shipwreck. The only problem is that um, I fill up all available spaces with this stuff.
here you can see a before and after of the attic. I'm very happy with the result. It has created a spacious loft which will be transformed in a living space. With hard work from everybody, the completion of the roof renovation went on uh, swimmingly, and uh, thanks God without incidents. It turned out better than I expected to be honest, and you must agree with me that it looks great. One evening after the work was finished, I took my family and uh, went down to a nearby creek for a little picnic. The kids enjoy very much these hikes and um, will definitely make them more often when time allows. And it's also a good chance to show you the surroundings. This place makes me feel like uh, living in the Shire. It wouldn't surprise me if one day a hobbit would pass by our house and uh, greet us in his way. Да, я видел.
Că-ți ai o parte unde ai mai... E mai lung pe plăță. Wow! Așa îmi trăjește! Thank <laughs> you. 